Hi again. Today we'll just run over the stock take features in CX Pro. It's um, a little unique and it's worth showing you how it works. So what happens to stock take count is typically performed um, to reconcile the actual count of products on the shelf with the count recorded in the software. And this is done in two steps within CX Pro. And what happens first is we actually maintain what we call a, or create a count sheet. So I'm creating that here. What I'm going to do is add a bunch of products and we can do these by certain filters here. We can do them by groups or a range of product codes or serialized, etc. So what happens next is we can either use in, say, a barcode reader. We can actually use this interface to do it on site in the warehouse or we can print a count sheet out. OK, so we've updated our counts and we'll save that. And so let's assume that warehouse staff have filled that sheet in and the next step is to actually process that stock take. So what's going to happen here, we'll generate our list again and you'll see a column here with the system count and also the actual count. The next column here is the adjustment that might have to occur and also a variance amount, which is the average cost value from that product. So we're saying here that the system only recorded two of these, but we've actually counted three, so there's an extra one in stock, and we have to add another $37 to the stock on hand value for this particular product. So what's going to happen when I hit save? I can either close this up and come back to it, or we can process it on the spot now. And what's going to happen, it's going to go and update all our products. And just to confirm, we'll actually go and view the product. And you'll see now we have one on hand, which before it said zero. And if we want to just double check that, we can go to the product history and see the system actually adjusted that one into